Welcome back to Mutakemil Financial Track. Hope you've all had the chance to check out uh, our previous lecture, which was an introduction to the systems interface and the contents. Right now, we're going to start talking about system admin. Click on it and it opens up in a new window. The system, by the way, shows you the name of the administration you're currently dealing with, which is system admin right now. We've already explained uh, the rest of the information that you're seeing on this screen. Uh, like the version, user code, name, activities number, branch number, and the financial year. Here though, we have this uh, menu bar top of the screen and the lock system below. If you click on the lock system, it locks this screen for added security, which means that you cannot use it unless you re-enter the password. Re, uh, re-entering the password basically to unlock the screen bearing in mind that this lock is ex exclusive for this screen only which is system admin this means that if you have any other open screens this lock will only apply to this one for example if we lock this screen and we were to open the general ledger it will let you open it and use it without any problems. It will not be logged or restricted or anything. Now, if you go back to system admin and enter the password, you can start working on the menus and the variables in the screen. So uh, I guess we all know uh, that the basic, most logical steps to go about using any system would be setup, inputs, transactions, and then reports. And this applies to Mutakemil as well. In system admin, we need to set up the system first then the users, their data and privileges or level of access and so on. Then comes the closings, canceling accounts, uh, posting, inventory, purchases and sales. And these are all different transactions. Then we have the reports. Um, and another example for that sequence is the general ledger. Let's go back to system admin. The main menu that we have here consists of configurations, users, closings, unpost transactions accounts, unpost transactions inventory, and unpost transactions sales purchases, reports management, and the last thing is backup and restore. When we get into the system setup and we click on it, we see this drop down menu with all the contents. Uh, clicking on options opens up a window with the options and it's divided into two parts. On the right, we have a bunch of options that we can use in the setup, and on the left, we have some variables. We'll see together the effect of each variable uh, and each option in the screen, starting with the cost centers. We have four different options to deal with the cost centers. Not use, and that is in case we do not need to use cost centers in the different transactions. PL accounts, if you choose this one, then the system will post the percentage of the cost to deduct uh, directly from the profit and loss accounts. Mandatory, and this one means that cost centers have to be entered in the transaction or else you cannot save it. Optional, and this lets you use cost centers according to your need. Uh, the user can save the transaction with or without linking it to a cost center. Moving on to the part where we can set up backup notifications and the options that we have to set up uh, to set that up are um, either once and that means that every time a user logs in or out of the program, uh, the system shows you a notification related to backup. Day means that you will get the notification every 24 hours um, and you can also get the notification monthly and weekly. Uh, don't notify turns off the notification for the backup. Notify when, and this helps you customize the notification to receive it when you log in or when you log out of the system. The part next is about choosing a language. When you click on this arrow, the drop down menu shows you the variable, uh, the available languages, I'm sorry, to choose from. And to activate the language that you chose, you will need to um, exit the whole system and reopen it so that the new language would take place. And when you do that, um, the language will change. We can also determine in this field uh, the number of decimal digits that we can see uh, both in the transactions uh, as well as the reports. We have four options for dealing with 
uh, taxes and VAT. Okay, so the first option is VAT. And if you chose that, the system will calculate the VAT in three different ways. We can keep an eye on each one of them separately as the system adds a field for VAT in interface accounts in general ledger. And we can determine in that field the account that we're posting the VAT to, like for example, the value or the percentage of the VAT on the sales invoice is posted to the credited side in the interface account. As for the percentage of the VAT added on the purchase invoices and the stock orders, it comes up on the indebted side. So um, the balance of this interface account will be indebted to the company or credited and therefore the company needs to pay that amount as tax. For that VAT option to um, function properly on the system, the user will need to uh, take some steps uh, to set that up and those steps are uh, first of all, they will need to add an interface account in the intermediate account screen uh, in the general ledger configuration. And after that, or the second step would be to link this type of VAT to the item in the items detail screen in the inventory system configuration. The, cer the third step would be uh, setting up the uh, VAT in the sales and purchase options and the final step would be to set up the taxes options in the immediate purchase bell and the sales invoice. So that's everything related to this VAT variable. Moving on to the next one which is going to be GST and uh, as you know GST stands for goods and service tax. The percentage of this type of taxes actually val uh, like varies between different types and different levels. Uh, and Motakemo gives you the different levels for this type of tax and each level has an intermediate account to which the value of this tax is posted. And um, consequently, this makes monitoring each level separately a lot easier. So activating this variable actually opens up a bunch of other screens and fields uh, and that includes the tax fields in system admin and activating the interface accounts fields that are related to GST and in those fields the user enters the accounts that the GST from the sales will reflect on and the credited side of the of this interface accounts and also uh, GST tax from the purchases will reflect on the indebted side of the same interface account. So um, the balance of these interface accounts will be either debit or credit. If it's credited, then the company will need to pay the value of the GSTS tax, otherwise it will be debit. The third kind of fields that will be activated after choosing the GST option are the fields related to linking the items in the, uh, in the tax in the, in the inventory system. And um, that's basically it on the GST variable. The next one is not used and this one simply is in case we are not selecting VAT nor GST. Um, auto calculate and if you choose this variable the system automatically calculates the value of the tax in the uh, method or the type that you've selected whether it's GST or VAT on all of the transactions. Uh, in case you do not activate it then you will have to um, deal with GST and VAT manually on each transaction. The following part contains two variables as we can see here together. Um, the first variable is use profits tax. Uh, you determine the percentage of the profits tax in the rectangle on the left and that is based of course on the company's activity and activating this variable the system will activate the tax field related to the profits tax in the intermediate accounts uh, screen in the general ledger system. Secondly, manually uh, enter tax ratio in sales and purchases and activating this variable allows the user to enter the percentage of the profits tax manually on the invoices whether for sales or purchases and in case you don't activate it then the percentage that the user entered in the previous va variable will come up automatically in the ratio field with the ability of course to modify it. Uh, to ensure that this variable uh, profits tax um, actually serves its purpose, the user will need to go through two steps. The first one 
is to add the profits tax account in the relevant field in the intermediate account screen in the general ledger system. And the second and final step is to set up the tax options in the immediate purchase bill and the sales invoice. So about this field here, here the user can add an account which will serve as the main account to which the user can link individual accounts. All of this is related to healthcare activities like hospitals uh, or clinics. So um, this is the end of today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and we will see you again soon.